First Warning Weather with Jim Spencer. Let's begin with a quick look at the uh, current uh, conditions, or at least the uh, numbers today. High temperature, also the current temperature, 99 degrees at Mabry. Uh, this morning, ABIA, 97 in the afternoon after the morning low of 80. By the way, those morning lows of 80, both uh, records are tying records for the day. As a warm, record warm overnight low. Did you notice that first thing this morning, how unusually warm and muggy it was? Well, we are seeing a few showers on the radar provide a little relief from the heat this afternoon, but I mean a few. I mean, there are literally maybe four out here, uh, one near the Lockhart area, another one moving uh, north of Maynard up toward Williamson County, and then a third up there in uh, northern Williamson County. And that is about it right now. Here in the metro area, as you can see, we have a, a partly to mostly cloudy sky with some of the showers nearby. Uh, not giving us much relief from the heat, though. It's 99 degrees out there right now. Here's our evening planning forecast, taking it into the low 90s by uh, 8 o'clock tonight as the sun sets, and at 10 o'clock, about 87 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Again, current readings, uh, very, very warm. A little rain-cooled air up around Georgetown, if you want to call 93 cooler. Uh, 92 out in Burnett, still 99 in Llano. And here in the city and the east, LaGrange coming in at 90 degrees, where there were a few showers in that area earlier today. Again, 99 in the city and 96 degrees out at ABIA. Humidity is coming back up and has been for the last two days. And so that's putting that heat index reading up between about 102 and 105 degrees in most locations this afternoon. Winds are southeast at 9 in the city and at the airport, a south-southeast wind at 7. And sunset tonight is 5 till 8. Mold count, 459 is medium. Ragweed 8 low. That mold could go a little higher tomorrow as we again see more moisture build up around the area. Waco uh, did make it to 100 degrees today. Dallas real hot again at 98. 85 over in Houston. Some rain showers over there again this afternoon. You can see some of those in East Texas too. A few of them making it into our part of the state as this pretty strong onshore flow continues. Kind of a struggle between that and high pressure aloft uh, to keep most of us rain free. But a few showers are able to develop. Well, there's the big hurricane and it is a big one. Now a Category 4 Hurricane Earl just missing most of the islands here in the Lesser Antilles, the northern part of the Lesser Antilles, but it was a close call. Anguilla is right there, and I mean, it just really brushed the island. There are a lot of damage reports coming in there from the northernmost British Virgin Islands and from Anguilla, but again, it could have been worse. Now, what's going to happen with Earl? They're really interested in this on the east coast of the U.S. because this is a Category 4 hurricane. Next to strongest category, winds gusting to 161 miles per hour. This is Thursday afternoon, 135 mile per hour winds and appears to be headed toward the middle Atlantic coast. But then it could be turned off to the northeast and stay just off the coast. That's our best guess now. But areas from the outer banks of North Carolina all the way up into New England are in that cone of uncertainty. And five days out, there's about a two to 300 mile uh, margin of error in those cones of uncertainty. So they're really going to have to pay close attention to this on the East Coast uh, heading into Labor Day weekend. Just terrible timing. Okay, that's uh, Tropical Storm Fiona moving in behind Earl. Uh, Danielle, by the way, has just weakened to a tropical storm way off in the northern Atlantic. Okay, here are our uh, current temperatures in the uh, 70s, or rather our low temperatures tonight in the 70s, our high temperatures tomorrow, again, in the mid to upper 90s. 78 in Austin tonight and partly cloudy. Let's go 99 tomorrow and partly cloudy. Could we see a stray shower tomorrow? Sure. The next day, yeah, possible. But the chances of that uh, only a 10%, meaning that, again, we're only expected isola expecting isolated activity. Then we head into Labor Day weekend. And looking pretty good around here. Uh, good for outdoor uh, water recreation, I would say. It's going to be hot and humid with low rain chances.